Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time now for the Jacksonville Jaguars rebuild. Their team is, um, is, is a little bit lackluster. 79 overall, but they just got a, young, uh, a bunch of young rookies for the most part. Or just young people in general. I mean, you got number one overall pick, Trevor Lawrence. You got Travis Etienne. You got James Robinson, though. You got Marvin Jones, a little bit older. You got DJ Chark. You got Chenault. The offensive line is not too bad. I did sign Trey Burton just to give them the tight end depth. Defense is n nothing too special, but they do have a few good pieces. They got Jared Allen. They got Miles Check. I like Joe Schubert. Safeties can need a little bit of work. Cornerbacks are not too bad with uh, Griffin and C.J. Henderson. Even Sidney Jones is not bad as a third option. D-line needs a little bit of work, but I'm going to try to do that like in the draft and stuff. So I'll probably be my best bet. We're going to go to midseason and uh, see how we do. I don't expect too much. Um, let's see. It's about halfway, so I'm assuming we're going to be probably like maybe one or two wins. If we can somehow manage more than that, I'm all about it. And we're 3-3, three and three, so not bad at all. Let's see, where are we at? We're second behind the Colts right now, who are 4-3. and three. I don't know if we have the, um... Any more Seattle picks? No, we didn't have Seattle's picks. The Rams picks, that's who we had. Okay. No, we don't, so we just have... Another 5th and another 7th, which I could potentially do something with. Let's see. Oh. Let's see, running backs. I see, I, see, I don't know why we needed ETN. We really didn't need him at all. Because, I mean, I know he's a 77, but James Robinson's only one year older. And, like, 10 overalls better than him. So I might look to maybe potentially trade him at some point. I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. But hey, you never know. Season number one making the playoffs would be pretty funny. Okay, Jags. What do we got? And we... Made the play. Made the playoffs, year one, nine and eight. It's a little bit surprising, I'm not gonna lie, Chiefs went 16 and one. I'm assuming, we weren't even the last, the Patriots were, so the AFC, besides for the Chiefs, was all right, I guess. Could have been a lot worse. I mean, we're going against the uh, Titans in the first round. I don't think we're gonna win. And we didn't, so it's good enough. I mean, we won. Actually, we didn't win, but we made it to the playoffs, so that's a good sign. Good sign to come for the future for this nice little young Jags team. See, I wanted to, I literally just wanted to say something so stupid in my mind that I'm like, I want to go to the Jags Stadium. I I've been to the Jags Stadium, and I just, it just blew my mind. I'm like, I, I went there for a freaking AEW not too long ago, and I'm just like, what? <laughs> Literally, like, in Jacksonville, I drove three hours to Jacksonville just to go see a show. And I'm like, I need to go to Jacksonville. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the recent players. players. Are on the the last last year of their yeah, we want right? DJ Chark. We have money to do so. Give him a little bit more if he needs it. Okay, awesome. DJ Chark's back. Andrew Norrell. He's the best guard we got, so we need him. Good. Sidney Jones is a good third option, like I said. He's not that expensive. Sidney Jones, what's up? You coming? Okay. Then everyone else literally can probably just walk. Oh, Trey Burton. I would like Trey Burton back, but I think I can get a decent tight end. How much do you cost? Oh, that's nothing. I'll sign Trey Burton for a longer deal. Oh, never mind. Sorry, sorry to say, Trey Burton, I, I did want you, but you're like, nah, fuck you. 
Jags, trash, even though we did pretty good. Okay, signed free agents. I got 35 mil in cap. Devontae Adams. Oh my goodness gracious. Can I? This is the development. This is this player has a zone ability. This is Can I pull in Devontae Adams? Because that would be one hell of a signing. He's literally like the only one really worth anything to me. Elliot is super cheap. Why? 98 points. We're right behind him. I'm gonna I'm gonna go all in on Deshaun Elliott too. 106, done. See, I would like to get some of these like ends and stuff, but I don't they're older, so I don't really want them. See, Hamilton's not bad. I forgot we traded away Ronnie Harrison Jr. for whatever reason. Um my tower D Ford. William Stephen Funches, David and Joku. Not that expensive. I'll give you a little bit like that. How about how, what are what are you thinking? One eleven? You're about it. John Brown, Jake Fox, Hargraves, Gronk, Sheldon Rankins, Ricardo Allen. Keanu need to just switch straight up to the middle linebacker. Is there anyone else worth any? I mean, if some of these players were younger, like, I like Leighton Van Der Esch, but I don't think I have the money to sign him. I would have loved Ronnie Harrison, but I already offered it to Sean Elliott. And I offered big boy Devontae Adams a huge contract to be on the rest of my team for the rest of the simulation. Let's see who I get. I got Elliot Adams and David Ninjoku. Perfect. The team looking, it's looking, it's looking nice now. Got 4.27 mil left in cap space. What about that? That, oh, that presence. Just the presence of having Von Miller on the team for, like, nothing. Prob... Zero points. Straight up zero points. If he accepts this, that would be hilarious. But I don't think he will. Is that one on the house? Not yet, at least. And then we'll look into the draft. Look for the edge rushers and shit. Okay. Simulate to draft. So we'll be in the middle of the pack. All right, on, on the, the clock, clock now, now, the Lions. On the clock, better, on the Jaguars. The Lions and the Jaguars. A strong safety. I do need one. He's a mid first, not too bad. Left outside linebacker. How you look at early first round? Interesting. I don't really need you. Right end. Late first. This right end's a late first. I'm going to go with the... Uh, the uh, left outside linebacker, Eric Roach, early first potential. The Jaguars, the Jaguars are on 77 the overall hidden development. There we go, we got our new starting outside linebacker now. Let's see what's available for us now. We don't need wide receivers at all. The right end's still available, so we're gonna choose him. Max, yeah, uh, get the Jaguars are now Another 77 line. overall. Okay, what do we got? Fourth round talents, second round talents, and a few thirds. What are you, you're a late second? I'm in the third right now. What about the right guard? Early third. All right, the Jaguars, the Jaguars are now Seven overall with hidden Feldman. I'm gonna try to get that right tackle as well. Gonna bolster my offensive line now since I know not all of them were great. I'm good in a few areas. Is that right, tackle areas? Terrence Bishop, late second round dude in the fourth. Okay, oh, the Jaguars, Jaguars are everyone's, now everyone's everyone's head in development, it seems. I got back to back picks here. Let's see, fifth, fifth, fourth. Um third left end. I do need a left end. 
Oh, I'm right there. The Jaguars. 69 overall. Oh, I'm just gonna simulate the rest. I don't care about this other fifth round pick. Okay, simulate. Let's advance to the regular season. Let's go straight to mid season. Okay, so we're three and three last year. I think we can improve on that. Team's looking better. We got pretty good solid 3-0 wide receivers. Trio, 3-0, whatever. Adam, Chenault, and DJ Chark. That's that's pretty bad right there. Pretty badass. Not bad, but you know. Okay, we are 5-2. and two. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Let's see. It's 84 Adams. Mar it's, look at that. Marvin Jones is even number two. We're at, I don't know why TH Hark's not our number two. Can I, can I generate the best lineup, please and thank you? Yeah, yeah, TH Hark, get back up there. Maybe look for a left tackle this year. No, they switched him over to left tackle. I believe he's my right tackle, right? He is Juan Taylor. That's fine. He's Bishop. Good, my left outside linebacker, 78 overall. Not bad. I need to potentially upgrade there too. Maybe strong, uh, yeah, strong safety as well. Linebacking core is looking good. Maybe another a second middle linebacker because um, jo uh, Joe Schober is getting a little bit older. So we're five and two. We've made one playoff appearance in, in one year. So, um, where's my other notebook? I need to write down all this stuff. PlayStation stuff. It's I I forgot which notebook I did. I think it's the purple one. No, it's my wrestling one. One of my many wrestling. So we're 11 and 6 and we made the playoffs. Beautiful. It has to be a nice one. It is. Okay, I wrote it in the back and not the front this time. We were the second seed. <laughs> not too shabby, Jags. Not too shabby at all. 11 and 6. It's improving over last year. It's nine of, I mean, the Jags are, or the Chiefs are the Chiefs. It's going to be hard to beat them. I just want to see how we did. I don't see any of our people anyway. Trevor Lawrence, seventh in passing and seven uh, yards and touchdowns. Not too shabby. Tenth offense, twenty-second defense. So the defense is the problem. Okay, we faced the Raiders in week one, wild card week one. Can we beat them? Yeah, forty-five to twenty-one. Steelers are next. Can we beat them? The answer is no. Lost to the Steelers, sadly. Hey, you know, we improved. We got uh, first round of last year. Made it to the second round this year. And the Chiefs beat the Bucks in the Super Bowl. Okay, let's, let's re-sign my players again. I guess I'm just going to do it here. Because I'm never going to remember. James Robinson, hell yeah, we need this man back. Okay. Uh, Josh Allen, y yes, you're so expensive, but you are well worth it. Oh no, 18, I think I'm going to resign you in free agency. Linder, you're older, you're a little bit more expensive. Juwan Taylor, I would like to resign. Okay, I don't need you. Garner Minshew, sorry. Um, I'm gonna let you two walk with the intent to re-sign you in, in free agency. Guess I'll have money that I can spend. 
I have 48 mil. <laughs> it's just also seeing who else is available. Like oh, God, Aaron Rodgers, Kareem Hunt, JJ Watt would be a perfect addition. Devin White, Josh Allen. That's who I need to resign. This is our number one we need to go get. 99, okay. Bobby Wagner, Zadarius Smith, Montez Sweat. That's another big name I would like to sign here. 114, killing Rodney Hudson. I ain't done if I can get an easy one. Warrior, it's a little bit older, Linder. So it's either I get Hudson or Linder. Can I like sign you for like a bigger deal for you to stay? 92. I mean, no one's offering you a contract anyway. Let's see, 11.3 mil. Um, I don't need any of you guys. So I think I I take my earnings and hide. <laughs> um, I don't need Callahan Conklin. I really don't need that much. Lambo, Jimmy Ward, Crosby, Tony Pollard, Scotty Miller. Um, I guess I can get a kicker. Let's get Tyler Bass. Man's man's got power for days. Okay, let's simulate week one of free agency and see if I get anyone. Or everyone. Or maybe I'll just get no one. And I got everyone. Awesome. So let's simulate to the draft. So what do I need? Is the question. We'll be later in the draft. Which is fine. Okay, it's the Falcons now on the clock. The Jaguars are up now. Let's see what direction they go. I know I need a strong safety, so if there's a strong safety available, I'm... DT, early first round dude, right outside linebackers, mid first with a whole bunch of good stats. Another DT is available mid first. Sure, there's a strong safety. Early first, yeah, we're gonna go Aaron Virgil. The Jaguars are 77 now. overall. I think he's literally slated to start already, so it works out in my favor. <clears throat> God, there's really... Oh, another center. Late first round center. Early second round. Late. And we're going to get the center, Matthew Shipley. All right, the Jaguars are now on the clock. He's just, like I said, long-term plan. To potentially replace uh, Boyo, Brandon Linder, we just re-signed in like two years or so. Another center, first round. DTs. So I think I just get the center just to get the first round talent. It's looking, it's looking like it's the plan. Christian Lowry, welcome to the team. Okay, oh, the Jaguars are now on the clock. No head development this time. I think I'm gonna make this one the last one here. Um, let's see, any second round talent anywhere? There is a right end. Late second round. On the clock. Seven now, overall. The and that'll be it for this. So let's simulate the rest of the draft. So year two, just now in the books as well. We're improving each year. We've gotten only better. The Jags, in my opinion, get really lucky since they have a whole bunch of cap space. Thanks to most of their people being on rookie deals and stuff. Let me look at my team one more time real quick. I think I'm just going to sim to the the off season, Not the off season, but the playoffs. Let's see. Yeah, Adams. We got Montez Sweat on the defensive end now, too. Virgil's looking good at strong safety. Okay, let's simulate to... Simulate to the end. Let's go straight to... 
playoffs. So we'll see if we can make it without really doing any. Well, we, we don't do nothing anyway except for, you know, re-sign players and stuff. I mean, I believe in the team. Really, there's the oldest person on the team might be Devontae Adams. But he is the best player. We went 9 and 8, 11 and 6. I think we can go around 11 and 6 again. I think the team is good enough for that to actually happen. It just depends on if. Freaking, uh, what's his name? If, uh, Trevor Lawrence starts, <laughs> even better. But somehow, we still didn't get the first seed, because the Chiefs are still a 2 OP. That is ridiculous. How? What did they do? We were 13 and 4. And again, they were 16 and 1. We ended up winning 7 straight at one point. Why are they so good, the Chiefs? Do I? I didn't even need to ask that question. I know why they're so good. Okay, can we actually? Let's get past the divisional this year. Come on, Jags, beat the Ravens. Yeah, Chiefs, what's up? Nah, it don't look good for us, but we're gonna try. And we ended up losing. It's the Bucks versus the Chiefs again. That's fine. Three years, three playoffs. We're getting better each year. You know, if it's a and the Chiefs just put a beating on them. Goodness gracious. If it's um case in point, we should be making the Super Bowl next year. Let's go let's renegotiate. Who is gonna be a free agent? Miles Jack? Yeah, nah. Not allowed to leave. Awesome. Uh Shaquille Griffin. Yes, I do want to resign you. Oh my goodness. I'll sign you for a long term deal. CJ Henderson, yeah, you're damn good too. Awesome. Leviscus Chanel, I would like back as well. Okay. Uh, Devon Hamilton. A little bit expensive, but we have the money. Um, then everyone else can walk. I would like to resign a uh, uh, K1 Chase on. But we already have a good left outside linebacker. And I need all the money as much as I possibly can for free agency. Let's see if there's any uh, bad boys out here. Uh, I can sign. We're an 87 overall team. I guess the Jags are pretty easy to rebuild. Clyde's Edwards. Oh my god. James Robinson is superstar X Factor. That's awesome. Oh. Ah, damn it. Damn. Why did they have to do that to me now? They, I swear the game knows I love Justin Tucker. And it's like. Yeah, you're a little bit late. Sorry. <laughs> I don't... It doesn't look like I need anyone. I mean, I got a second... Uh, I do need a second middle linebacker, so I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have to get someone. I mean, we can get Eric Kendricks just to fit the build. Where are we weak on the team? That'd be probably the offensive line, right? Cornerbacks are not bad. Free safety, Elliot's fine. Virgil's an 80 overall already. The best person is Class Edward Trailer, and we don't need him. Aaron Rodgers is 40 years old, but Trevor Lawrence is better than him already. Getting JJ Watt maybe to play right end would be the best bet. We're gonna do that and see what happens. Only offer two contracts. See if I can get both of them. And I got both of them. Okay, let's let's just go straight to the draft now. We'll be at number. Th should be at thirty. Do you have thirty or twenty nine? It just depends on what who the NFC homie G was. All right, All right the, the Dolphins, Dolphins are now, are now on the clock. The, the Jaguars, Jaguars are up now. Let's, let's see what direction, direction they, they go. go. Um, wide receiver, I guess. Right end, first round, first round potential. 
Yeah, we're gonna go with him. We don't really need anyone else. Darren Barber, welcome to the team. The Jaguars. 77 the overall, clock. fourth in the class. Got him at 30. Okay, no more wide receivers. Another strong safety, right tackle. Two strong safeties. You're late. And you are late as well. Okay. Um, I guess a giraffe one has a backup. Who's better, though? I want to say uh, Damian Whitmore's better. So All right, the Jaguars are now on the clock. 74 overall. And we'll see who's available in the third round and call it, call it then. We're going into year four, right? Yeah, we'll be going into year four. Any second round talents anywhere? There's a DT. Yeah, we're just gonna simulate the rest. I don't care about it too much. Simulate to the end of the draft. And then I just wanna so I'm going to the preseason, then I want to look at my team. Eighty-seven overall team, pretty pretty damn good. Okay, let's see. It's good. That's good. Offensive line's looking. It's getting better. David Joku was a good pickup. Did they switch? They switched JJ Watt to play right and. Our team, oh my goodness. It's looking pretty good. Now I'm just going to simulate straight to the playoffs again. Maybe we can overtake the Chiefs this time, but you never know. He's got Patrick Mahomes, and that's really all they need, because he's stupidly overpowered. They went 16-1 and twice already. So we really don't know what's going to happen. I think we can, uh... Okay, so we went 9-8, and 11-6, and six, and 13-4. And and is that next at me and we're going 15-2? and two? It'd be nice, but I don't think... No, I think we can go 15-2, and two, but it's unlikely we go 15-2. and two. I'm going to give a more realistic around probably 12-13 wins, even 14 wins top that at all. Trevor Lawrence, James Robinson, good wide receiver core, decent offensive line, defense is looking stacked as hell. I mean, honestly, I think we can go 17-0. Will we go 17-0? Hell no. Okay, year four, we are only 10-7? and seven? Yikes. I mean, we still made the playoffs, but we didn't perform to expectations. At least my expectations. We barely made the playoffs at 10-7. and seven. And you'd think, you know, a 10-6 and 6 team back in the day was good. So, let's see. Derek Henry and the damn... Right, so we're a better team. We're an 89 overall team. And somehow we ended up just getting trounced in the season. Like, we beat them. Oh, the Chiefs. Let's just get it over with. And just put us out of our misery. Yeah, well, I knew that was going to happen, unfortunately. We lose to the Chiefs again. Okay, going into okay, we're four for four in playoff appearances at least. I think with this team, with the Jags specifically, for me, ooh, Panthers won Super Bowl. Okay, I think with the certain you know the lower teams, overall wise, I I think at least getting them to at least playoff appearances, I would like to get a Super Bowl on. Trevor Lawrence is expensive as balls, but he needs to be done. Travis Etienne, hey, you're probably not that expensive. Yeah, didn't think so. Uh, Norwell, Mountain Walk, Tyson Campbell. Yeah, everyone else can just walk. I just needed those two, to be honest. I have a little bit of money to spend. Who's it? I have 18 mil. It's not much. Hop, what, imagine having Hopkins and Adams. Wyatt Teller. Harrison McCleal Mack. Derek Naughty. He's a scheme fit, too. Jamar Chase. Didn't want to re-sign. I would, I would like Wyatt Teller. Maybe push him off to play a left tackle. 
he's gonna assume the rest of my money. 113 for number one. I have negative 198 mil. Okay, can I get White Teller? I got White Teller. We're gonna. Let's see, where is he playing? Is he going straight to right guard? He is. Um, Shipley is playing left guard already. And Byron. Maybe I'll switch you to play left tackle. And you should be... I don't think he'll be a higher overall. So we'll actually see what your overall is at left tackle. I mean, if you stay at 81, that'd be beneficial. You stay at like 80. Not too bad. Good offensive line. Hell yeah. Travis Etienne still playing. Second fiddle. Jared Allen went up to Superstar. X-Factor. Eric Hendricks is a good second... I mean, if we can get, like, a high overall middle linebacker, that'd be literally, like, the only thing that would help our team. I'm, I'm going straight to the draft, because I really don't have anyone else. Well, I don't have the money to sign anyone else. That's what I should have said, because Trevor Lawrence... Now, now, it's the, the Chargers, and time, time is ticking. ticking. Trevor Lawrence wanted to accumulate about 30 mil of my cap space. Yeah, I don't really need any of these positions. This left end looks pretty dope as hell, though. I don't need a running back. Left outside linebacker looks decent. Um, I guess we're gonna go to that left end. Where is he at? Carl Polk. He's... He's good okay, in like every yes. now on the clock. Seventy nine overall hidden development. I don't think he's gonna be starting for me, but it is it is what it is. Okay, let's see. Any other first round talents available? A middle linebacker. We do need that. Late first round dude. We're gonna take you, Jamie Meadows. Late first on round. The clock now, the on your feet. Seventy five overall is not too bad. Okay, third round, probably going to be my last round unless there's nothing here that I want, which there isn't because there's no more first round talents available. I really don't care for the second rounds right now. Yeah, no. I was just looking for anything that could maybe have an immediate impact on the team, but nothing does. I drafted the left end who's really good, third in the class. I mean, why wouldn't you? And then I drafted the, the second middle linebacker. He's going to play. He's my third string. For a 92 offense, 87 defense, 89 overall team. It's lovely. Taylor, see, you guys are good. Defense. Sweat. Polk coming off the bench. Meadows. I think I'm going to have Meadows play over Kendricks just to have him upgrade quicker. Hamilton's a good DT. He hasn't got any upgrades, unfortunately, but similar to playoffs. Let's see if we can be 5 for 5 in playoff appearances. It'll be, well, this is only my third rebuild for Madden 22, but this will be the first one to make all five playoffs. Even I couldn't make it all with the Bucks. I only made two playoff appearances with the Eagles, but that was a, a whole bunch of bullshit. That's what happened. I'm going to switch it up this year. I don't really feel like playing the game too much. Because Madden's still kind of broken at the moment. Maybe they'll fix it at some point. It would be nice if they did. I, I want to finish platinum this stupid game. Because I only got the two trophies left. Like a lot of other people I see. So what did we do? We did 10-7 and seven last year, right? Yeah, 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 we were ten and seven last year, so I expect us to be—I expect us to be better. Will it happen? Who the hell knows? The defense is the lackluster part. I mean, I looked at the at least that one year we were horrible on defense. I get to ten and seven again, but we won our division, so at least we get the home game. So we made all five. Chiefs were, I believe, number one seed every single time, every single year. Okay, can we beat the Browns, who have a really good defense, but not a good offense? 
We are 92 offense and 88 defense and 90 overall team, and we end up losing to the Browns in the first round. That is unfortunate. Oh, well, let's go to the Super Bowl. I mean, I'm happy with what the team did. Unfortunately, we didn't make too many deep playoff runs, but we made five playoff appearances. That is good enough for me. Because I really didn't expect us to even make it in the first year, to be honest. But we did. Barely, but we did. And, the, okay, the Chiefs did not win the Super Bowl this time. The Packers won it. I believe the Chiefs won. How many Super Bowls did the Chiefs win? Two or three? Okay, that was real life. Then they ended up losing to the Saints. Came back next year, beat the Bucks. The repeat beat the Bucks. Yeah, so they made three playoff... Or they made four out of the five... Super Bowl appearances and lost. They were two and two. They just needed to face the Bucks. They needed to get their revenge. They, in the past six years, they made. Now, in the past seven years, they made six Super Bowls. That is ridiculous. That that is really ridiculous. Twenty twenty four is the only time they never did. They didn't make the playoffs. That's crazy. Okay, but that's the end of the simulation. Let's uh, spin that wheel and see what team we're going to rebuild next.